Now in part b here we've got to solve this equation 5 to the power 2x minus 12 times 5 to the power x plus 35 equals 0. Now in equations like this there's a common pattern here. What you've got to do is when you see this 2x you've got to split it to 5 to the power x all squared and then minus 12 times 5 to the power x plus 35 equals 0. And what you have here is a quadratic in 5 to the power x. Let me just show you. What we can do is we can say let any variable you like, let's say y, equals 5 to the power x. So therefore what you have here is y squared. And then you have minus 12 times y plus the 35 on the end equals 0. And like any quadratic, you will try and see if it factorizes or possibly use the quadratic equation. But I would think this will factorize, so we'll just try it. A couple of brackets, put equals 0 on the end. So you've got to have a y and a y. And then just by looking at this, I can see that a minus 5 and a minus 7 would work. Minus 5, minus 7. Yes, that's right. We have minus 7y, minus 5y. That's the minus 12y and plus 35 on the end. So that's good. Then that would mean that either y minus 5 would equal 0, that factor there, or the other factor, y minus 7, will equal 0 leading to y equals 5 if we add 5 to both sides or in this case if we add 7 to both sides we get y equals 7. Knowing that y is 5 to the power x it's going to therefore mean that 5 to the power x will equal 5 or similarly here 5 to the power x would equal 7. Now for the first one here, 5 to the power x equaling 5, the answer for x is obvious. It's to the power 1. 5 to the power 1 is going to be 5. So that's going to mean that therefore x is 1. But in this particular example, do you remember, we did this in part a. So there had to be a reason why they gave us part a in, in this question. So there's your reason. It crops up in this question. So. From part A, we found out that to three significant figures, x equaled 1.21. So don't leave it like that. Just make sure you put to 3SF okay, on the end there. And that brings us now to the end of part B and to the end of this question.